Hello, this is Mike again from Scratch. Welcome to a quick Blender tip. Uh, if you're like me and recently joined the world of um, higher than 1080p resolution displays, you may have suddenly realized that many applications, <coughs> Photoshop, <coughs> Um, etc. Don't scale their UI particularly well. And the first time you load up Blender, you're probably thinking the exact same thing. It's like, oh god, this is going to be unusable because your fonts are way too small. Think the proportion is a little weird. Your manipulator is minuscule. And you'll see in front of you, I've got a copy of Blender loaded. And this actually isn't how it looks exactly. I faked the end result, but this is probably similar to what it'll look like on your screen. So the manipulator over here, way too small, and your fonts and your sizes are way too small as well. Unfortunately, um, YouTube is going to resample this to 1080p, so I can't really demonstrate high resolution that easily in this recording. So, like I said, I faked it. Uh, here I'm going to show you how to go ahead and set the Blender UI to work regardless to what the resolution of your monitor is. And the nice thing is the Blender developers, when they updated it to 2.6 or maybe even 2.5, they were very forward thinking in how these things would work. So it's probably one of the best behaving applications you will find. But upscaling it probably isn't as intuitive as you think. And by default, it doesn't upscale at all. So when you first load Blender on a high def monitor, everything is going to be very, very tiny. So let me just kick this guy back to the non-messed up version. I'm just going to reload the factory settings. Oops. All right, so now you can actually see what I'm doing here. And now what you want to do is go into your user settings. So file, user preferences, and then you're going to go over here to the systems tab. And once you're in here, the setting we're actually interested in is DPI. And right now, the DPI is actually pretty solid. This is the dots per inch, or basically uh, the resolution to scale the display at. And if you want to have everything, if you have a very high resolution monitor, for example, on my, oh, what the hell is my resolution? Um, something, something by 1440. So I'm about 50% to 100% bigger. What I want to do generally is come in and just double this value. Uh, so 144. And you can see here, because I don't need it, everything got huge, except the manipulator here. Now I'll just put that back to like the actual value we wish, but um, that is where you can set the value. You can also probably do it by doubling your virtual pixels, but um, I'd stick to the DPI setting as your way of doing it. Now you finally got this manipulator to actually deal with. The manipulator can be very small. Now there are hotkeys to change the manipulator size. Um, on the fly, but what we're interested in is just a universal setting. And that is available under interface tab, and it's a manipulator right here. You just change the size there. Or the uh, arrow tips there, and the center point there. And that's it. That is configuring uh, Blender to work on a high DPI or, or a low DPI. You can go in the opposite direction too. If your resolution is way off, you can actually get smaller and make things work a little bit more screen real estate on your uh, low resolution display. Uh, but it was exceptionally forward thinking of Blender to put this functionality in there. You just may not have immediately found it. So if you're using Blender on your Retina display or on a 4K display, this stuff is a godsend to you. So you can update your, um, your widget here or you can update your DPI here under system. Hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much. Bye.